This video is going to walk you through a tour of your WordPress dashboard. Now the WordPress dashboard is the central location of all the content management features in your WordPress site. You get there by typing into your browser's address bar up here the URL to your WordPress site forward slash WP admin then go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard and then you're going to be prompted to add your username and password in a little box that pops up here in the center. Then whenever you do that you're going to be brought to a page that looks similar to this. Now along the top here is your admin bar and it has several different links to various parts of your WordPress site. Over on the far left you've got this icon here for WordPress and if you hover over that you get this little drop down menu. Next to that is the title of your WordPress site and a little house looking thing. If you click on that or this link here it says visit site that's going to take you to your main page of your WordPress site. Then next to that you can access comments then next to the comments link, moving to the right, you have the new link where you can add a new post, new media, that's like videos and images and such, new page, and new users. These can also be accessed over here in the far left column, otherwise known as your main menu. But getting back up here to the far right on your admin bar, you have your name or whatever name you're logged in as, and to the right of that is your gravatar or the image that represents this name that you're logged in under. And in this little drop down box here, you've got a few features. Whenever you hover over your name, that'll take you to your profile page. Likewise with this guy here that says edit my profile, just click on that, they'll take you to the same page. And then here we'll log you out. Now here in the middle, we've got the various modules that can be moved around or even removed by clicking on the screen options tab up here at the top right. And by removing the check mark in these boxes, we'll remove these various modules. For example, at a glance, this guy right here, untick that, poof, it's gone. WordPress news, you don't want to know about the news, uncheck that, poof, it's gone. And likewise, you just add the check back into the boxes and they will reappear, just like so. And if we go ahead and click off of the screen options tab, you have the help option over here, and this is page specific. So you can click on this, and this gives you specific information related to the dashboard area. You also have this help tab up here in the top right on these other items here that are specific to that particular item. For example, if we go to the post page, come on up here to the help tab. These items here are going to be more related to the post section when it comes to helping answer any questions. Whatever you see on this help page here might be different than what you might see on, say, the appearance page help section. This is more related to the themes. So now if we take a closer look to the main menu over here on the left, you see the various titles here and the little flyout menu whenever you hover over these items. Being brand new to these, they might not mean a whole lot to you, but you'll get accustomed to them over time. Post, just like it sounds, that's where you add a new post. Now whenever you click on this link here, the flyout menu pops down below that item. And you can still access each and every one of those links just by clicking on them. And then moving on down, we've got media. That's where you can add things like images or video or audio files, pages, comments, and appearance. That's pretty important because that's where you can add and customize the various looks or themes of your WordPress site. Along with that, you have access to various widgets, menus, header, background, and editor. Plugins adds a ton of additional functionality to your WordPress site. Users, that's where you can go in and add additional users or access current users or even access and edit your own profile. Tools and under settings, a lot of cool stuff in here, but that's the makings of a different video altogether. Now, I also want to mention that you can collapse this menu to where it's just showing those icons that were to the left of the menu items. So if you want more real estate here in the center, go ahead and collapse that. Otherwise, just click on what looks like a little video play button there and it will expand that back out to full size. And that's a tour of your WordPress dashboard. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.